Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I thought I would do a really quick video talking about basically how I like keep my library holds and checkouts under control. This video is inspired by basically like a comment that I left in one of Deboki's videos once and then she like talked about it in one of her videos. But basically she does a whole thing doing sort of like a library checkouts check-in video. That's a weird way to phrase it and I think she does a better job of talking about it. But basically she talks about what books she has checked out from the library and like periodically she will talk about which ones she read and which ones she returned unread and the new ones that she has checked out and things along those lines. And in one of the videos she talked about the fact that like she basically had like a bunch of her holds come in at the same time and therefore she had a bunch of books that were all due back around the same time and so she was basically forced to figure out which one of those she had to like prioritize over others because there was no way she was going to finish all of those books at once. And so this is something that I definitely have struggled with in the past. A lot of times when I'm watching booktube videos I often have like my library's website open in a different tab and I'm just like switching back and forth putting different books on hold as I hear people talking about them and as they sound interesting to me. So I often have around like 20 books maybe more on hold at a single time uh, because you know I have a problem but I suppose it's a better problem to have than buying all these books all the time. But in order to sort of like get a handle on things I basically came up with a system for myself and I actually came up with this at the end of last year when I realized that I wanted to keep reading comic books and I wanted to keep reading specifically comic books off of the AV Club's best comics of the 2010s list that I reference a lot in my goals videos but I didn't want to like go through the process like every month or every couple of weeks or whatever trying to figure out which of those comic books my library or my library system at large had in their system and then like trying to remember which ones my library had and then putting holds on those and things like that and a lot of times like my specific library wouldn't have them I, they would just be available in like the larger interlibrary loan system so it wasn't as easy as just like going to my library to pick them up like I had to put holds on them in order to pick them up. So I decided at the end of last year also to kind of like encourage myself to pick up comics regularly throughout the course of the year that I would basically put all of the comics on that list that my library had available on hold in December and then I would suspend the holes and have them suspended until a specific date throughout the year. So I basically went through and I put comics on hold and then had them released like I think it's like at the beginning of every month I have one or two comics release and then like eventually it'll get like shipped to my library and I can go and pick them up. And then once I started doing that I realized like I should just do that constantly because I was basically running into the issue of putting a bunch of things on hold and then never knowing when they would actually be available and then just everything coming at once and therefore everything being due at once. Now I probably should have prefaced this by saying like you know I live in the United States, I am living in a suburb of Chicago and the suburb that I live in has a really great library system and I am connected to a lot of other really great libraries so I have access to a whole lot of books and my like library system like my specific library is really really great and you know, seems pretty well funded in the fact that like they do a whole lot um, and they are very like helpful and things like that. So obviously like your experience may vary based on where you live but I think that in general if you live in the United States and you have the ability to put holds on library books um, you also have the ability to suspend those holes and so like the way I used to think about it before is like oh if you know you're like going out of town or something like that you can kind of suspend your holds to make sure they don't you know pop up while you're out of town and then disappear because I know for me I think we have like three or four days from when the library like pulls it and puts it on the shelf, hold shelf for you to be able to pick it up. So yeah I basically just like came up with my own little arbitrary system. The one sort of downside I would say to the way my library has their website set up is that they don't actually like put the holds in chronological order so like if I have them suspending on these different dates they don't necessarily list them in that order they list them in the order that I put the original hold on them so like if I push something out to like a later suspend date it'll still like sit in the same spot on the list so I started to get like really overwhelmed because I couldn't <laughs> figure out how many books I had like on each date. If I'm like putting a book on hold today which is like May 22nd for like June 1st there's only so many books I want to actually be released on June 1st uh, because 
I'll basically just run into the same problem again. Like if I have them all released on June 1st, that's not helpful either. So I started to just use my planner. Like to be honest, I have had very little use for planner. <laughs> Over the past like, you know, year and a half while I've just been sitting at home, I haven't had a whole lot of things to put in my calendar. So I figured I would just uh, start to use this to keep track of my library book. I started just writing down in like the month view which books I had on hold. And I would basically give myself a limit of like three books per date. The way that I set it up, just because it felt like a nice system in my head, is I have books released on the first of the month and I have books released on the 15th of the month. And on each of those dates, I usually have one comic book and two like physical like novels or like short story collections, something along those lines. So it's like a total of three things at a time are released every, you know, two weeks or so. And that's kind of just like my basic system. And it has honestly worked out really, really well. Obviously, it's not a perfect system because like not all library books have the exact same due date period. So newer books in my system have a two week loan period and then like older books have a four week loan period but then also like if people put books on hold then you can't renew them anymore so it isn't like perfect because like sometimes I will get things and they will only have a two week hold date and there will be whole other holds on them so I can't like renew them beyond that point other books like I keep for like three months <laughs> because I can keep renewing them and I'm like really really diligent about looking at my library uh list so i like legitimately look at my library website every single day because you know i'm a nerd who has nothing else to do and i like keep very clear track of like when books are due and which ones look like they have renewal options and which ones don't again my library has a really decent website and so they have that stuff really clearly laid out so as soon as they check out a book i immediately look to see if they have a renewals available or not because if it has zero renewals that means I have to prioritize that one but if I have the option of doing renewals then I like know that like even in that like four week span or whatever I'll probably get have another four weeks or so to be able to read that book and so then I just kind of like prioritize my library list based on due dates and again it's not like a perfect system by any means but it's definitely a system that works really well and I've definitely felt a lot less overwhelmed by my library holds list doing this and the other thing is that it's also provided me the opportunity to figure out whether or not the books that I am excited about today are books that I'm actually excited about or I'm just excited because you know they're new and shiny and things like that that sort of like delayed gratification thing is something that I uh, have worked on a lot as I get older you know trying not to compulsively buy things uh, but also like trying not to just read books because I just heard about them yesterday uh, but instead see which ones actually seem interesting to me in like two three four months down the line um, I feel like is actually a really nice way to deal with books especially now that I'm in this like weird kind of reading slump situation where like things don't really hold my interest anymore. I've become a lot more judicious about getting a book from the library, you know, that I put on hold two months ago and realizing that, yeah, it's okay if I actually don't read this one and just returning them really quickly. But I'm also someone who be believes in kind of like the serendipitous nature of books sometimes. And so I do also kind of believe that like, if I don't pick it up immediately, I might potentially pick it up at a time that's better for me and things along that those lines. So yeah, that's kind of like my method for dealing with books and library books. Uh, I feel like, again, it's working pretty well for me. And I thought I would just make a really quick video talking about it because, again, I mentioned it to Deboki in the comments section of one of her videos. And she mentioned that she started doing that as well and she actually really enjoys it. So I feel like it's something that other people could potentially do. Uh, utilize and help with their own library holds. And also if you're not sure how to like suspend library holds on your library's website, you know, ask a librarian. For the most part, I've always found that they're really nice and helpful and so I'm sure someone at like your local front desk would be more than happy to figure out how to do that or they probably already know how to do that and would be happy to explain it to you. So it's definitely a really, really useful feature that I don't think enough people take advantage of. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you do anything sort of like this or if you start to do this, definitely let me know down below if you find it to be helpful or if you know about any other library tricks, I would be happy to hear about them because you know, I'm using my library a lot these days and so any other sort of tips and tricks would be well appreciated. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.